Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Tom Spark. Welcome back to another video. Today we're talking about, you know, what is the new user guide for torrenting? This guide will show you how as a new user, you can stay secure while torrenting. Um, we're going to be showing you how to use a VPN, how to set up a kill switch, and how to make sure your IP address does not leak while torrenting. Um, so guys, I'm going to be putting some of my recommended products in the description down below. I've tested a lot of shit. So guys, um, that will help support the channel. Just know any recommended products are not sponsored. They're products I can vouch for and use myself. So take that into consideration. All right, guys. So first of all, we do kind of want to talk about uh, what is torrenting? You know, what is it exactly? Well, it's P2P file sharing or peer-to-peer -peer file sharing. Basically, the way the protocol works is that someone has the file on their computer and then someone else is downloading it from their computer over the internet. The people who share the files are called seeders and the people who download the files are called leechers. Um, so guys, the way it works usually is that you will get a magnet link from a torrent website and then you will put that in your torrent application and then you will start downloading it from a seeder. Um, so since it is a public thing, um, all the people who are downloading that file, their IP address can be viewed um, in the torrent application. And um, this is basically why people use VPNs and SOX5 proxies and those kind of things. You don't really want your IP address just being publicly available in the torrent swarm, which is what it's called. And that's why you anonymize and hide your real IP address. Um, so that will protect you and anonymize you from getting any notifications or anything like that for downloading something. Now, just to be clear in this video, I am not encouraging you to download any illegal content. As always, you'll have to check with the laws in your country, um, depending on what they are and what you are available to download. So guys, in this video, we're just gonna be using a legal uh, Linux ISO to download stuff and show you how to do it. So like I said in the beginning of the video, um, the basic kind of stuff here is torrenting. Uh, we have an application. The chosen application we're gonna be using is Q Q BitTorrent. This is my torrent application, and this is an open source, free to use, no ad um, um, application that is excellent. So if you're brand new to torrenting, I would recommend checking out Qubit Torrent. This is um, my preferred one, and the preferred one for a lot of people as well. All right, guys, so we now have a torrent kind of loaded in here. Um, it's paused right now. Um, with Qubit Torrent, you could pause and stuff like that. Um, and like I said, if you click down here, you can also see some peers um, and I will probably show that here. I might blur it out um, as you can see tons of IPs here. Um, so this is really why you're going to use a VPN or a SOC site proxy to anonymize your IP address. You see all sorts of people downloading and sharing this file at Linux ISO all over the world. So that's one of the best things about torrenting that really makes it cool. Wow, my voice just got fucked. Is that everyone around the world can take a part of it. Um, so one thing we're going to want to be doing is using a VPN like I mentioned in the beginning of this video and thankfully you've come to the right channel because I've pretty much reviewed all of them. Now I have a website called VPN tier list. Now the VPN tier list what it is is a tier list ranking VPNs by various things uh, in various categories. If you're looking for a torrent VPN I honestly would probably recommend something like TorGuard. TorGuard is an excellent VPN provider. You can even use pro, co promo code TOMSPARK2023 to get 50% off the main plan that works really well with torrenting. Um, so that's probably one of my top recommended options that's very affordable and really fast. However, NordVPN and Proton are also gonna be really good for torrenting because they're also just as fast, um, although they're a little bit more pricey. Um, TorGuard doesn't work built in with streaming compatibility if you wanna unblock G restrictions like with websites like Netflix, whereas NordVPN and Proton do natively work with those. Um, and it's a little bit easier to use those with um, unblocking G restrictions. But for just torrenting, TorGuard will be fine. But also if you want something like that, Nord and Proton are also an option. So I would encourage you to click on the, the individual scores here if you wanna see the individual reviews to know the, the nooks and crannies of these different VPNs and what makes them different. They all have a little bit different things about them, different applications, different kind of setups sometimes. 
Um, so overall, yeah, just make sure to check out the reviews. But otherwise, you can't really go wrong with TorGuard. It's my top rated VPN and you can see it right here. It looks great, easy to use. So pretty much what you're gonna do with this one is just turn it on like this. It's gonna natively pick the best protocol and you just generally kind of want to pick a location close by to you um, to maximize your speeds. Now, once you're connected, you're just gonna keep that on whenever you're torrenting and it will protect your IP. The cool thing about TorGuard is it has some built-in capabilities here to ensure that um, nothing will leak. It's called the application kill switch. So basically what you can do is say terminate this application. So let's say the VPN has some kind of error or something like that, which isn't that common with TorGuard, but you can select a specific application. In this case, we're gonna pick Qubit Torrent. Um, it's gonna be uh, right around here. And now, so let's say TorGuard closes. We're gonna click save. So we're gonna connect um, and we are connecting here. And now we are connected. So let's just say I completely exit out of TorGuard, close it down and I'm like, oh, I kind of forgot that I was torrenting something. Um, so we're gonna disconnect that and there you go. See, I put the command to TorGuard to quit and then it already shut down Qubit Torrent. Um, so that's how that works, really cool. Um, the cool thing about TorGuard, it also has other features built in that will protect you. Um, it has um, the settings here. You want to kind of figure those when you're not connected. Um, it has a network kill switch. So you could find that um, uh, right here. So if TorGuard disconnects, it's just will wipe all the internet, completely stop your torrent as well. So that's also something you can use if you want. Not only that, but a lot of people prefer to just use the built-in kill switch from um, the torrent application. And I'll show you how to do that right here. So basically in this section, you want to make sure you're connected to it and you can pretty much bind the network interface to WireGuard TorGuard. So basically um, Qubit Torrent will never even work unless TorGuard WireGuard is connected. WireGuard is the name of TorGuard's protocols it's using to connect to the internet um, and encrypt your IP address and stuff like that. So this is another way you can do it as well. Um, it's not really necessary to do all three, this is probably the only thing you need or a combination of the other ones, just application or network. I'm just showing you all three different ways depending on you know the way you wanna do it. So that's also another option. Overall, I think that's it guys. I talked about what torrenting is. Um, I talked about some of the dangers of it and what you need to look out for. I talked about how to use an application and my recommended one. I talked about some of the different VPNs you could try out that I think are pretty good for torrenting. And I also talked about how to use kill switches to ensure you never leak your IP address when using a VPN. All right, guys, I hope that video was helpful and you learned a lot. And I'll see you again in the next video very 